Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Mr. Bean's trendy brother. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today, we're here to try Po' Boys, a New Orleans classic. We're Brits, we love a good sandwich. We do. And everyone has said that we have got to try the New Orleans Po' Boy, which doesn't sound like the name of a sandwich, but uh, let's go see what it is. Let's find out. I thought it was a Nintendo character. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at that menu. It's a work of art. That is impressive. Literally. I ordered a crap ton of food. Red beans and rice, which he says is the best red beans and rice in New Orleans. Actually, I think he said it's the best red beans and rice we're gonna have in our entire lives. What's this one? Oh, oh this is the who dat. What is this? Uh, oh! It's a sandwich the size of a pizza. It looks like a pizza. <laughs> How is that a sandwich? I went on a bit of a Wikipedia deep dive. The name Po Boy originates from 1929, where, do you know the trams that run through? Yeah, 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 okay. The guys well, who made well, those well, and maintained yeah. those, they went on strike and a famous restaurant said, I will feed you. I will supply you blankets until hell freezes over or until you win your strike action. So he gave sandwiches to the poor boys on the picket line. Okay. So what is it? It's a giant like baguette style. It's very light. Deep fried shrimp. Look at that, the shrimp in there. Let's do it. It looks like a sub sandwich. I'm curious. Oh, that's the... That's heat. really good. Oh, it's heat. spicy. Yeah. Oh, it is spicy. Oh, it's just a really good sandwich. It's weird that this has become so much of like its own thing. Yeah. What? Oh, wow, it's spicy. <laughs> it's actually really spicy. It's literally got a sign saying what? everything fried yeah. is spicy. What? They were selling antacid at the yeah. register. Yeah, I should have taken that as a sign. <laughs> Debris fries. I'm going to have some of this to hopefully cool myself down. Mm. Mm. Holy crap, those are good. What is that? Is this like... It's debris. What do you mean debris? They blew up a cow. Okay, <laughs> okay and this was the debris. Um, <laughs> That's like slow cooked oh. beef oh. with cheesy fries and gravy all over it. That it is. is absolutely glorious. Is. Uh, like in the UK, we get dirty fries, right? It's like cheesy fries, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're just putting dirt on those. Okay. <laughs> Here, <laughs> yeah. they actually select the, the dirt. The okay. So it's debris. <laughs> <laughs> This is like night out food. Oh yeah. How late is this place open, Dill? 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah. There you go. Well, Come here yeah. after a beer. Stretching into early morning. At that point, it's breakfast. Yeah. You can start drinking. The one thing I would say, a little bit weak. Bread doesn't really taste of anything. It's bread. It's quite dry. You know what the bread tastes like? What? It tastes like your bloody Carl's crackers. It's like got almost zero flavor to it. Do not insult <laughs> the Carl's crackers. crackers. I guess the bread is, is designed to let the filling shine. It doesn't like yeah. distract from what is inside at all. It's a hype man. Just, yeah. No one goes to the concert yeah. for the hype man, right? No. <laughs> no. But if you've got a bad hype man, yeah. it could ruin the whole thing. It could, it could. I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. Strange analogy, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, fried okra. Hell yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is spicy. The batter they use must be spicy. And it's nice to have something healthy, you know? Deep fried okra. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hot roast beef. Mm -hmm. When we were ordering, he said that this is one of the traditional... Now, first thing, when I think of roast beef, I think of like a Sunday roast, mm -hmm. a British roast dinner, and the first thing I think of is dry. Because roast beef is like sliced and quite dry. But this is like the opposite. It's, it's wet. It's literally <laughs> soaking. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh my god. Dripping everywhere. Boy, po boy. <laughs> Mate, I've just seen this Creole seasoning that apparently is great on everything. Let's do it. Oh wow, oh wow, gosh. Is that also spicy? Maybe I should have been more careful with that. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Basically salt. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Very messy. Very good. I really like how sloppy this is. That's not a sentence I thought I'd ever hear myself say. <laughs> but I love like how much gravy there is, how much sauce is just mm -hmm. exploding out. Mm -hmm. However, I think the shrimp takes it. The size of the shrimp, the amount of them, just a beautiful spicy batter. It pains me to agree with you because you know how much I love a sloppy meal of any type. Sloppy Giuseppe, <laughs> Pizza Express. Oh no, I've my, forgotten about my favorite. that. favorite. Quick break from those incredible po' boys because this is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. The more of life I go through, the more I realize that my mental health is kind of constantly fluctuating. Like my physical health, it can really differ from day to day. Funnily enough, the best thing I found for my mental health is taking care of myself physically, but there are times when you want something more and therapy 
has been really, really helpful. BetterHelp made getting therapy a lot simpler and quicker. All I had to do was answer a few questions about my needs and preferences. And then they matched me with one of their credentialed therapists from their network of over 30,000 in just a few days. It's all online and remote, so I can message my therapist anytime, schedule a live session whenever is good for me. My therapist has been a good fit for me, but if for any reason you want to switch to a new therapist, there's no additional charge. So if you're struggling or just want to talk to somebody, consider online therapy. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash jolly to support this channel and also get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Now back to New Orleans and those incredible sandwiches. Okay, so these boudin balls, I wanna see what's heavy. inside this, is really heavy. Oh, this is that sausage that we tried. Whoa, smell that. Look, that's really mm. strong, intense flavor. All right, let's go. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is it oh, delicious? Wow. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. That is so good. Yeah. yeah. Boudin balls. Have you yeah. had those before? I've had boudin. Mm -hmm. I wanna dip that in a bit of cheese and gravy. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Holy crap. Luke, this yeah. is gonna blow your mind. All in one. No, no, don't go all in one. <laughs> don't go all in one. You could, I wouldn't make, oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. What do you think? Oh, it's like a better scotch egg. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, yeah. Because I don't like the egg in the scotch egg. Yeah, well, okay. there, there you go. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. No, but there's way more flavor in that than a scotch egg. Next up, Josh, red beans and rice. Okay. It looks to me a little more like brown beans and rice. Yeah, baked beans are more red than that. Whoa, smell that. Whoa. Oh, again, yeah. so much that's, like spice. It's got a smoky barbecue smoky. smell to it. Smoky, that's what that smell is. Ooh. Whoa. That's, gosh, that's a lot. Wow. I really like that. Mm. Is there meat in that or is it just all beef? There's so much flavor. It almost tastes like a, some kind of smoked sausage or something. Mm. I mean, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, there you go. Found it. There's bits of smoked sausage in there. Holy crap, man. Okay. Coming from a nation that eats bloody beans all the time, yeah. this is putting us to shame. Look, try that. Go on. Bam. Yeah. Oh, wow, the hit of flavor. Yeah. It's like instant, right? Yeah. Bam. We've come into a sandwich place and had some of the best beans of my entire life. That's mad. Mm. There's one more thing we need to try. Let's do it. The most visually uh, <laughs> shocking menu item I think that we've been served on this entire trip. A whole muffalata. Do you know any of the history behind these bad no. boys? Okay. No. Oh my. What? Is okay. it heavy? Oh, it, wow. What? It looks like a flipping giant pie of, of sorts. That is the most absurd looking sandwich I've ever seen. It's like if Subway took the entire oh. tub yeah. of filling and just yeah, and emptied just, it. Just emptied it yeah. into like a giant That's pizza. Amazing. That's a big sandwich. That's a very big sandwich. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Let's do it. I got mostly ham. Whoa. There's olives in there. A lot of cheese on the top. A layer of like pickles and stuff. And then all these different hams and salamis. They've definitely gone with a more is more what? strategy. Yeah. Oh, there's so much going on. Uh. To me, that doesn't hold anything up against the, the poke. You're not a fan. I flipping love that. This almost feels like a rich boy. What do you mean? Why? This is so not. This is not a on. sandwich designed for someone on the picket line. That's like half a pig That's in terms of ham. There's a lot going yeah. on. It's just. It's a lot heavier. The poke boy, even though it's deep fried. You're right. It felt like you could just yeah, smash that that's whole true. thing. This is heavy. I mean, it's intense. Look at the size of it. Yeah. There's so much going on. Yeah. I do prefer the po' boy. I love that this could basically feed my whole family. Your extended family. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Have we got any more po' boys, Josh? No, one more time. You don't want to end on the muffalata. I can leave the muffalata. Wow, this po' boy is massive. This is one of their specialty po' boys. Oh, okay. And they filled this with their own sauces as well. Holy crap! That. This is hot and overflowing again. Americans, man. Like we put like one or two slices of something in a sandwich. That's it. That's a sandwich. Yeah. Slice it of bread. means you can eat it with dignity. Americans just love to just stuff it full. Impossible like, to eat with dignity. Yeah, that's true. Dignity is not valued in the same way it that's is true. in the UK. Look at the size of the shrimp in there. All right, let's go for it. Okay. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. I, I really like that. I think the first one for me. Overall, it felt a little bit too dry. Whereas this, the dry bread just absorbed all that sauce in there. The result is fantastic. 
Oh, Louisiana, you've done it again. Just completely out on yourself. Po boys, call me a Po fan. Yeah. How do we have Subway all over the UK? But we don't have anything like that. Yeah. It's been a trip, man. What a wild ride. It's been amazing. Absolutely incredible. Everything we've eaten has felt like has been better than the last thing. Way to an Englishman's heart. Sandwich. A sandwich. <laughs> End on a high note, this sandwich. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Just cut down the, the number of ingredients a little bit. <laughs> Well, so you can eat it with dignity, okay, okay. and I'm happy. Yeah. In the meantime, see you jolly soon. See you later.